what is the equation of uh, Newton's law of gravitation? Uh, what it, that means is the force, the gravitational force between any two bodies in the universe is uh, some gravitational constant g, which is just a number, so don't get worried too worried about it, it's just a number, um, times the mass of the two bodies. So in this case, since we have the Earth and the Moon, it's going to be the mass of the Earth times the mass of the Moon. So this is the mass of the Earth, the mass of the Moon, but then it's divided by the distance between them, but not just the distance between them, the distance between them squared. So this is what we call an inverse square law. Now, interestingly, gravitation has this inverse square law and also electric forces, you know, positive uh, char you know, like charges repel and opposite charges attract. The, the force of, of uh, electrical forces are also an inverse square law. It looks very similar to gravity, okay? What this means is that as you make the two bodies bigger, the mass of the Earth, if you make it bigger, then the force of gravity uh, between the two bodies uh, go bigger. This force will be the force that the moon pulls on the Earth and the force that the Earth pulls on the moon. That's what this force is calculating. If you make the mass of the Earth bigger, then the force goes up. If you make the mass of the moon bigger, then the force between them go up as well. If you make the distance between them bigger, then you're dividing by a bigger number and then the force goes down. However, you're not dividing by r, you're dividing by r squared. And what that means is if you, for instance, make the distance between them two, uh, two times uh, bigger, if you take the Earth and the Moon and make the distance between them two times larger, then the distance here would be, instead of, uh, you'll be uh, d dividing by, you would put in a two, a two r there. And since you're squaring it, if you make it two times bigger, two squared is four, so the gravitational force would go down four times. So because r is squared, if you double the distance between the objects, then because you're squaring a double, then you're really dividing by four. So punchline, if you make something, uh, two bodies, twice as far away, the gravitational force is not twice as weak, it's actually four times weaker. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.